Hi, I'm Derek Johnson with Tatango.com. Today I'm going to show you how to do A-B testing with mass text message marketing. So an A-B test is essentially uh, splitting up your subscriber database and testing a two different or three different versions of a message to a small subset of your database, figuring out which one performs better, and then sending the better performing message to the remainder of the database. I'm going to show you how we do that at Detango. So the first thing you want to do is click on one of your campaigns. A campaign is where you store all your phone numbers that have opted in and then you're sending your mass text messages. So as you can see here, this is my dashboard for my uh, Acme Retail campaign. Then I'm going to click Settings and I'm going to select A-B Tagging. So what I recently did is I went in and I uh, selected a prefix which I selected December 1 and then I went in and I said I'm going to try or I want to try three different versions of a message whether that's an SMS or an MMS message and I want to see which one performs better but I only want to test it on 5% of my list. So 5% of my list get test 1, 5% of my list get text 2 and the third one gets 5% as well. Then I'm going to wait and see which one performs better, see which one my customers like, and I'm then going to send the winner to the 85%, the remaining subscribers that I have. So then I click Generate Tags. And I'm going to do this, uh, I've already done this. So as you can see down here, it's created tags for me. So A tag is December or DEC1 underscore A, and then B, C, and D. So then what I do is I go to messaging and I'm going to open a new window here and I click new message and I can select either an SMS message or an MMS message. An MMS message is going to allow me to have a subject line up to 500 characters of text and allow me to include a video or an image into the message. An SMS message is just a plain 160 characters. So what I want to do is I want to test, and you could test an SMS versus an MMS if you wanted to. I'll show you maybe how to do that. I'm going to replicate this page here. So what I want to do is I'm going to test a SMS versus an MMS message. So I have an SMS message open right now. And I'm going to go to the very, very bottom and I click send to segments within the list. I'm going to click add segment. And I'm going to go all the way down and I'm going to click tag is. And I'm going to go back to my tag page. And I'm going to select DC1 underscore A. Now, because I only have two subscribers, this isn't tagging properly, but you get the idea of what we're doing here. Then I'm going to go to my MMS message, and I'm going to take the tag B, which again is only 5% of my subscribers. I'm going to go tag is. So again, this is only sending to subscribers on my list that are tagged with this specific tag, which would be 5% of my list. And then I'm going to take the last one. Again, we're testing three different versions here. I'm going to go to my third MMS message, go down to the very bottom, send a segment, and I'm going to say tag is DC underscore uh, one underscore C. So I have an SMS message which is only going to 5% of my list. I then have an MMS message which is going to a different 5%. And then I have another MMS, my third version, which is going to another 5% of my list. So total, uh, the test message, which is three different messages, is going to 15% of my list. 
So then I just type out my message, I create my different messages, and I click send. I send on all three of those. So 15% of my list is getting a message at this point. Now they're very different uh, messages. Two are MMS, one is SMS. And I would see which one performs better. That could be the click-through rate, that could be responses. Um, that's really up to the brand itself to determine which one performed better. We'll give you all the data that you need, but it really determines um, what the brand sees as the value and the end goal for the messages. Then, once you've figured out what message actually performed the best, maybe it took an hour, maybe it takes three hours, maybe a full day or 24 hours, then you come back and you click new message. And then you go down to the very bottom and you click send to segment, add segment, tag is, and you go back to your tag page and you would select the tag that uh, represents 85% of your subscribers, essentially all of the subscribers that didn't receive the test. And let me find my message page here, sorry. Uh, then I would click tag is, and I'd put in the tag for the 85%. Then I would come here and I would recreate the message that was the most popular or you know, had the best results, and then send that to the 85% of the remaining subscribers, um, which will get you the highest performing uh, message being sent to the majority of your subscribers, 85%. So that's how to use the A-B tagging feature when sending mass text messages using the Tatango software.